Hi, I'm Mariah, a full-time culinary student and part-time pastry chef. Today, I'll be taking you with me to work and showing you what a day in my life looks like working as a pastry chef at a five-star hotel. So let's begin. Today is Sunday. We are starting off at 8 a.m. I get to work at around 7.30 a.m. I clock in, grab my uniform and get changed. Then after getting ready, I go ahead and head upstairs. For the breakfast shift, it really just depends how busy we are and how many people are rostered to work that day. But if I'm alone, then I'll be on the buffet for the first three hours, which consists of me baking pastries, maybe eating some, <laughs> plating them, taking them out to the buffet for the guests to eat and checking every now and then just to make sure that they don't run out. If I'm not alone, then there's most likely someone else doing that while I'm doing other prep or vice versa. Um, of course, we have to have a smoothie break. And then I went ahead and prepared some French macarons. You know, it's a good day when I get to make French macarons. So instantly I was happy. Uh, we made four batches. Here I am piping out the first batch and my friend Damien behind me piping out another batch. I made some white ones, he made some pink ones. Here is how they turned out. Absolutely stunning. This is my first time making French macarons at my work, my new work here. So I was happy how they turned out. Then we made another batch. We made some lime green ones and some pastel yellow ones. Then after that, it was time for my break. At around 12 p.m., I go down to the canteen grab some lunch as you can see we are spoiled over here we have our own buffet just for us and we have a ton of selection which is honestly so cool i feel so spoiled working here and then after my break i go ahead back upstairs to do prep the prep varies a lot depending on the day for example if it's at the start of the week like monday through wednesday then our prep is mostly just baking cakes tarts and then freezing them and then if it's like closer to the weekend it's mostly just assembling plating and garnishing the desserts and cakes since we have the buffet from friday to sunday normally on sunday we also have sunday lunch buffet which you will also see me setting up later on since we make everything in large batches and quantities it actually takes a painstakingly long amount of time to get stuff done which means i probably would have only done two of these things on a normal day but for entertainment purposes and visual purposes of this video, I'm going to pretend like I did all this stuff in one day. So now you know my biggest secret when it comes to filming these videos. It also helps a lot that we are such a big team because when we work together, everything just gets done so much quicker. Then I prepped some apple pies with apricot jam and a sponge. Then shortly after, it was time to start setting up the Sunday lunch buffet. We normally do between 200 to 300 people per buffet. And here is what the dessert section looks like. We normally have around between 20 to 25 plated gâteaux and cakes at the front here, as you can see. Then on the side, we have a selection of ice creams and toppings. And next to that, we have an upright fridge with some smaller desserts like more bite-sized ones like mini tarts shoe buns stuff like that then we have a hot dessert which in this case today is chocolate pudding today i was not on the buffet someone else was so while they were attending to that i went ahead and decorated this wedding cake they just wanted it really simple with various sizes of white edible pearls which was honestly really finicky but at the same time, it was really calming just to do this. I really like how it turned out. It's very simple and sweet. After decorating that, I went ahead and I prepared some banana cake and some banana and caramel muffins, as you can see here. Uh, extra points if you can guess how much mix is in here. <laughs> if you guessed 40 kilos, then you're right. Um, yeah, we, as you can see, it's, we make pretty much large batches of everything. I'm just sprinkling some chocolate on top and here is what they look like when they're baked and cut. It's a pretty dense cake but it's actually really good and extremely moist. It's looking a tad bit dry here because we had just taken it out of the freezer. And then after that I was done for the day. Then whenever I get the chance to after work I head to the gym 
and I do like an hour. I usually do like a 30 minute warm up on the treadmill. Uh, and look how cool this is. This treadmill has live TV and I was watching Food Network. Uh, thank God, cause I, I forgot my AirPods at home. And you guys, I was burning calories and learning how to make desserts at the same time. Revolutionary. Um, after that, I went ahead down to the spa because if you have a membership for the gym, you can automatically go to the spa. It's included in the price. I, I don't go that often, but I, I really wanted to go this time. Just I was having a really bad mental health week in general, so I wanted to relax. Then I went back to take a shower, get dressed, and it is time to go home. My shift normally ends about 4.30 p.m. And there you have it. That is a day in my life as a pastry chef working at a five-star hotel. Bye, guys. Oh, my God.